All right, guys, today we are gonna fix an iPhone 6. It's got a cracked screen. Looks like uh, the top part here, kind of the speaker and camera are coming out. Camera doesn't look broken, so it looks like we're still good there. This is a A1586 iPhone 6. What I'm going to be using are these plastic tweezers, a small star screwdriver 1.5, these tweezers, I can explain later, I really like these, of course, Sesamo tool, and last but not least, our Pentalope screwdriver you can order a set of these um, on Amazon or eBay I ordered both Amazon and eBay and tried out a few different screws and uh, screwdrivers and I really like this set right here these are my favorite all right so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your Penelope screwdriver you're gonna turn the iPhone on its side man there's a good gash right there And that auxiliary port. All right, there's two screws right here. You're gonna start with removing those first. And these screwdrivers are magnetized, which is nice. Okay, make sure you lay those to the side organized now we're going to pry up the screen you're going to take your sesamo tool and on some screens they're damaged pretty bad and you can pop it open on southern on others you might have to take a heat gun and go over this to make the adhesive a little looser on this one it's broken pretty good so we can kind of pull up on it You're just gonna go around the sides. If it feels like it's not coming up, you can pry up just a little bit. Same thing on this side. You're just gonna go down on both sides till about right here. Don't go any higher than that. Then you're gonna open the phone and when you open the phone, you don't wanna go past 90 degrees. So you wanna stay about right in here. And oh, as you can tell, this one's got some glass on the inside. It's pretty dirty. And the battery's more than likely dead, so we're gonna have to charge it when we fix it. But the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two screws off. Try to lay them to the side. And uh, what makes it easier for me, I'll kind of show you, is I know that screw goes in that hole and that screw goes in that hole. So when I lay them to the side, that's exactly how I lay them. You don't want to be putting wrong screws in wrong holes. Now we're going to take our plastic tweezers. You're going to get underneath this cable and pry it up. And you're going to kind of push it to the side to make sure it doesn't accidentally connect. Take your Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna take out one, two, three, four, five screws. The same thing, man. If you can lay them out exactly how you're taking them out, it's gonna make it a lot easier when you're putting them back. And you also want to make sure you're working on like a tile floor or a wood floor or something. So if you do drop one of these screws, and if you drop it on carpet, it's pretty tough. You're going to take up that shield. And right here, you're going to have this little home button connection. We're going to disconnect it. You're going to have the camera right here and the speaker. 
This one should be our digitizer. And last but not least, you're just gonna get underneath it and unpry that one. And that's the frame right there. We're gonna go ahead and put it to the side for right now. And we're just gonna work on this screen. It says, as you can tell, it's bent pretty good, but I still think it's salvageable. You can kind of start wherever you want, but I like to start at the bottom. We'll start on the home button. There's gonna be two screws. You're gonna remove. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this third one. And I'm gonna put it right above that screw so I know. Now this is where these tweezers come in handy. Um, you don't want anything real sharp. So you want something pretty dull and you don't have to use these. Um, but these are really come in handy, especially on the newer iPhones. But right here is your little home button connector. You're gonna get underneath it and you're just gonna slowly unhook it. And then now you're gonna take the same tweezers and you're gonna try to get underneath this little ribbon cable. Let's see if I can get in there and show y'all. Trying to get underneath it and you lift it up. And then once that's up, you go from this side, take your finger and just push. And this pops out real easy. Be very careful with the home button because you don't want to mess these up. Now there's some glass that came with this one. So I'm just kind of cleaning it off. Because if you try to place it back on the new screen with the glass, it might be a little too tall, might be a little too short, and you want it as original as possible. All right. So now we got the frame. It's gonna be one, two, three screws on this side of this heat shield. Protects your LCD when the battery gets really hot from burning your LCD. On this side, you're gonna have three screws. You're gonna flip it over. On this side, you're gonna have three screws as well. We're still using the small Phillips screwdriver. Once you remove three screws on that side, you're gonna come up here to the top and like I said, this camera is pretty bent. You, it's usually not bent like this. But there's gonna be one, two, three screws and you're gonna remove them as well. And this phone is just kind of coming apart on us. So do your best. Look at that, it just came right off. And you're gonna have phones like this, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Now you're gonna take this little shield off. You're gonna put it to the side. You're gonna take out your speaker. Now it is magnetized, so keep it away from your screws. Or you might be saying, I'm missing a screw, but you're really not, it's just stuck on that speaker. And what you're gonna wanna do is, this has already popped out because of the phone is, you know, broken. But you're gonna wanna, on the frame, you're gonna wanna get under this proximity sensor and you're gonna wanna pull it loose. And then once you do that, you're gonna wanna get under this, sorry, you're gonna wanna get under this. And what you're trying to do is this little gold piece right here, you're trying to get underneath it trying to pry it loose Let's see if I can do it see how I'm prying that loose <clears throat> and usually that doesn't come off like that usually that's still stuck to the screen but that's what you want right there you want to pry underneath this so you don't damage this flex cable now looking at the camera it doesn't look like it's damaged it's kind of hard to tell until you plug it in, but there's your camera. 
Now here's your um, heat shield. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much do the same thing we've been doing. You wanna get on this little corner over here. And we're just trying to take care of these flex cables, really. You don't wanna damage them. You can make your iPhone repairs pretty bad if you do. And you're just gonna wanna push against the frame of the phone. And you're gonna gently pull up. You're trying to get underneath, um, underneath this connection. See if it's gonna let us get underneath it. Don't force anything, be patient. There's a metal sheet underneath here and sometimes they stick to them really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go this way. Okay, good, it came off. Sometimes they don't come off that easy, but that came off really well. But there's that metal little metal piece right there and you want to try to put that back on the phone all right well there's your heat shield now your screen that's your old screen let's get a new one this is an iphone 6 you're basically just going to do it in reverse i'm going to start with our heat shield we're going to put it on make sure all our little holes line up there's a little lip. If you can see it right there. There's a little lip and you want to put this home button on the other side of that lip so it sits above it. And now you can start taking your screws that were on the side and you can start putting them back. Now when you screw these screws in, you don't want to screw them in too hard. Um, I usually just screw them in until I feel a little resistance and I stop. Now on the sides right here, it's not quite as important as if you were like screwing it in towards by the motherboard or anything. But still, you just want to create good habits. Now we're on to this side, three screws on this side. This is where, like I said, if you keep your screws organized, it'll really help you out. All right. Now we're gonna take our camera proximity sensor and I'm gonna show you There's these little gold prongs right here. Sorry. There's these little gold prongs. Golly, let me turn it this way. There's these little gold prongs and you wanna make sure when you put your speaker on that these gold prongs line up with these right on top, make a good connection. And the way to line this up is on this little gold piece you took out there's a little bitty hole. I think you can see it right there when I put my finger behind it. There's a little hole. And on here, on the actual frame itself, there's a little hole right here. And you're just gonna line those two holes up on one another. You're just gonna push it in, line that hole up. When the holes lined up, you can kind of push it down because there was adhesive behind it. Now your proximity sensor, you're gonna line that up and you're gonna push that in. And you should hear, not a click, but you should hear like a little, yeah, I guess you could call it a click, a little bit of a noise to let you know that that proximity sensor is in there. Now we're gonna take our speaker can line it up two different ways there's this little hole this little part on this side and you're gonna make sure it lines up 
with that. And then you're gonna fold this down. Sorry, I need to clip my fingernails. You can use the holes as guides. There's holes on both sides. Just so you can tell, just like you'd lined it up a minute ago, there's one right here and there's one right here. If you can just line them up on there and then line your screw holes up, you're gonna take your little cover, lay it right over. And now we're just gonna screw our screws in. And if you have your screws laid out the right way, this makes it a lot easier. This will be our final screw in the top. And if they don't go in good, unscrew them and just screw them back. Okay. Now we're going to go down here to the home button. You're going to do the same thing you did on the top. There's a little bitty hole. There's two of them actually, sorry. Those two holes and on the frame, there's two more little holes right here and right here. You're just gonna line those up. And when you do that, your home button and everything should fit in pretty flush. And then you're just gonna snap down your little connector. It's gonna sound like a little Lego come back down here we're gonna put our little shield on and this has holes on the on the bottom as well that kind of helps you line it up take your screws should be three once you get those down, you just kind of test the home button. You're going to give it a little click. Now, if your screws are loose, when you click this home button, these screws are going to move a little bit. And you need to fix that because when people are pushing on this home button, your home button can go down if these screws are loose. So make sure, sorry, make sure these are pretty tight. We're going to go back to our frame. And you're going to kind of line it up when you when you lay these out you'll kind of see they kind of go in order this long one's always the bottom middle and top and this fingerprint one not fingerprint i'm sorry but the one that connects your home button kind of just fits in there or wherever it may but it's always to the it's kind of to the side and you're just going to connect them down to the motherboard And you will hear a little click just like that. I'm going to do the home button one now. There's our digitizer and last but not least our camera. Now we're going to take our other shield and we're going to cover these up. Basically this shield, it holds down the little cable so if you do drop your phone, um, the cables don't pop loose. And sometimes you drop your phone hard enough, it's, it's gonna do it no matter what, but this is just a little precaution. So it's pretty nice to have. But you do wanna make sure you put everything back that you took out of the phone. All screws, everything. Okay, that's down. One of the last steps is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect the battery. Now I'm pretty sure this phone has no juice. Um, the lady that gave it to me said that her grandson had broke it and it's just been sitting there. So I think I might have to put it on the charger, but I'm gonna still gonna go ahead and see if it turns on. You never know. You don't have to do this. Um, but in here sometimes there's little pieces of glass or 
anything like that, this little residue. I kind of like to clean it up um, like a little glass cleaning cloth. <clears throat> Make sure there's no loose screws that have popped loose, whether you did it or somebody else had repaired the phone before. Make sure there's nothing in the way, no little shards of glass or anything. It looks good. So the last step is up here in the top. I'm sure you can see it. There's little, they're not connectors. It's just leverage. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to lift the bottom of the phone and angle it down. And I always push, not real hard, but I push enough force. And then you just start to snap both sides in. But it needs to sit up top real good down here in the bottom where this was kind of bent that might cause us a little problem with the screen not wanting to go down all the way that's just going to be a part of your repair sometimes there's not a lot you can do when the frame is bent like this um, i have tried to bend it back to bend it back and i've been successful a time or two but you want to make sure that you let the people the person whose phone this says let them know that you know there's a chance that while you're trying to bend it back you could make it worse you don't want to be responsible for that and that's it um, go around the sides make sure there's no gaps looks pretty good i'm gonna try to see if it'll turn on but i don't think it will okay you see it's, it's showing us a charger so that's a good sign but i'm gonna charge it for just a second and then i'll uh well, I got a charger right here actually. Let's see if it shows us the little battery symbol. Which it does. So I'm gonna let it charge for a minute and then I'll turn the camera back on and we'll check it and make sure all the functions are working. That we can if they have a passcode. Alright, thanks guys. Alright, so I let the phone charge for a good 15 minutes. Um came to check on it. It says iPhone is disabled. So either the customer already knows it's disabled, and if they don't know, what happened was when they cracked this screen, the screen thinks it's touching. So if you have a passcode in there, it'll it'll touch on your passcode. It'll do it so many times where it disables your phone, and it really does suck. But the only way we can really test the phone out when they're disabled is we click on emergency, and you just kind of hit the corners with the numbers. Um, sometimes it'll let you go back and forth, but I don't think it's going to let us. Um, but pretty much that's all you can really do right now to test out the phone. They're going to have to disable it. Uh, all they got to do is connect it to iTunes, but just in case you get that and they didn't know their phone was going to be disabled. I mean, that's what it is. Phone got cracked. Phone thinks it's touching buttons, even though it's, you know, it didn't. But the phone thinks you're touching buttons. But other than that, and like I said, you can press the home button and make sure that's working. It'll go back. But there's no other way really to check it out until they take it home and connect it to iTunes. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you have any uh, tips for myself, um, I do fix quite a bit of these um, every day just about. So I'm learning as I go um the best things that work for me and um hopefully this helped you out a little bit i try not to go too fast try not to go too slow but uh, you don't want to rush it and make a mistake uh, especially with somebody's phone um they have their business their life on these phones pictures whatever the case may be so you want to make sure you take care of their stuff but thank you guys for watching uh please if you can leave me a comment um something let me know if this video helped you if it didn't help you uh if you thought i did something wrong or if you found a better way to do something uh, we always learn from each other so uh thanks again